Tidy up this cupboard more often, you know. No, toys go in this box. Yes, I know. But I never seem to get round of it. And put the papers in this box. Uh, shouldn't this go in that box with the toys? Mm, yes. Uh, what is it? It's a firework. Hmm? Uh, did I say firework? What's that doing in there? I thought all the fireworks had been set off last bonfire night. Are you sure it is a firework? It doesn't look much like one. Most fireworks have a twist of blue paper coming out of them. Oh, yes, where you light them. Dangerous things, fireworks. Aha! They can be if children play with them, but if grown-ups light them and take a lot of care, then they should be quite safe. I don't like fireworks. All those sparks and bangs and whooshes. Ah, <laughs> but I think you'd like these fireworks, Cauldron. You see, they're magic fireworks. Magic? Where do you get them from? You don't get them from anywhere. I make them. I can do that because I am a great magician. Oh, I remember now. You made some last year, didn't you? I made lots, and this is one of them. I put them all in that cupboard... And this one must have got pushed to the back. Well, what happened to the others? Would you really like to know? Oh, yes, I would. All right, then. Just climb down and hop across to the pub. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Goody, goody. It was the 5th of November, firework night. Sarah and Davy were out in the lane making a guy. Harry came out of his house and ran up the lane carrying a pair of old gloves. Would these do for his hands? he asked. Yes, they'd be just right, said Davy. Let's get his boots on and then he's finished, said Sarah. Mr. Gotobed came out of his house. Would you like this hat for your guy? he asked. Thank you very much, said Sarah. Peter Puffle came running up the lane. Where's your bonfire? he asked. We're not having a bonfire this year, said Davy. Have you got any fireworks? asked Peter. Sarah shook her head. No fireworks, Sarah? asked Mr. Go to Bed. I wish I'd known that before. I'm going to my granddad's, said Peter Puffle. He's built a big bonfire in his field. He's got a lot of fireworks, too. Peter ran back to the house. The others watched as he went off down the lane with Mr Puffle. They felt rather sad. I know what we'll do, said Mr Go to Bed. We'll have a party. We'll have a party in Puddle Lane. Mr. Gotobed went off down the lane to see Miss Baker. Mrs. Pitterpatter came along. I hope you're not having fireworks tonight, Sarah, she said. All those nasty bangs. We haven't any fireworks, said Sarah. I'm very glad to hear it, said Mrs. Pitterpatter. The magician was out in his garden. He'd heard every word. I think I'll go to this party. The magician said to himself, Then there will be some fireworks, but I'll tell the Griffel first. Griffel, said the magician, There's going to be a party in Puddle Lane tonight, and there will be fireworks. Uh, 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 I don't like fireworks, said the Griffel. I know you don't, said the magician. None of the animals in the garden like fireworks. They're frightened of all the flashes and bangs. I want you to go and tell them to stay at home and hide. 
in Puddle Lane, everyone was getting ready for the party. Miss Baker had brought a tray of cakes. Hari came down the lane with Gita and a big jug full of lemonade. Suddenly, the gates at the end of the lane opened and the magician came through. I thought you might like some fireworks, he said. Fireworks? cried Sarah and Davy. Watch! And he snapped his fingers. At once, the fireworks began. There were red and green stars and whirls of fire. There were big bangs. There were blue and yellow stars and flashes of light. Mrs. Pitterpatter came rushing up the lane. Whatever are you doing? she cried. You said you weren't having fireworks. You go home, said the magician. Mrs. Pitterpatter was very cross. She was just going to say that she wouldn't go home when she remembered that he was a very great magician. She tossed her head and went off down the lane. The magician laughed. He snapped his fingers and rocket shot up into the sky. But at last the fireworks were over. They had cakes and jellies and lemonade. We've never had fireworks before, said Peter. It's the best firework night we've ever had, said Davy. I wish I'd been there. They sound like wonderful fireworks. Oh, they were. In fact, they were so good, I wrote a song about them. Would you like to hear it? Oh, I'd love to. It would be the next best thing to actually seeing them. Oh, I don't know about that. Fireworks sparkling, fireworks bright, fireworks light up bonfire night, bonfire night, bonfire night, fireworks light up bonfire night. Sounds and colours, it's a magic sight, fireworks light up bonfire night, bonfire night, bonfire night, fireworks light up bonfire night. Fireworks rocket in firework flight, fireworks light up on fire night, on fire night, on fire night, fireworks light up on fire night. <laughs> that was a lovely song. Those must have been wonderful fireworks. I bet the children enjoyed them. Oh, they did. Oh, they did. Shall we see if it's been magicked into the book? Oh, yes. Let's have a look. Pencils and paper, pens and ink. The words shall appear before you can blink. Now, it all began with Sarah and Davy making a guy. Here he is. But the words aren't here. I'd better write them in. Making a... Guy making a guy. They had a guy, but no fireworks. Yes, they were a bit sad about that, but Mr. Go-to-Bed had an idea that cheered them up. He said they should have a party. <laughs> yes, I decided to go to the party and take something with me. Fireworks. Yes. Magic fireworks. I told the Griffel to warn all the animals in the garden about the fireworks so they wouldn't be frightened. That was a very good idea of yours. Animals don't like all the bangs and flashes. And your fireworks made lots of bangs and flashes, didn't they? Oh, 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 yes. But all the people liked them. And when the fireworks were finished... Everyone sat down and had to party. And a very good party it was, too. They had a Party. And the title of this story is The 
Magician's Party. I wish it was bonfire night now. Then you could make some more fireworks and I'd be able to see them. Would you like to see them very, very much? Oh, yes, I would. Well, I know it's not bonfire night, but I don't see why we shouldn't make some magic fireworks anyway. And set them off in the garden. Oh, we can set them off in here if you like. Oh, no, that would be very dangerous. Yes, much too dangerous. You'd set the house on fire. All those sparks and flames and bangs and flushes. I know it would be very dangerous and very silly too, but I wasn't thinking of fireworks that bang and flash and give off sparks. I was thinking of something else. Oh, what? Some magic indoor fireworks that just give off light and pleasant sounds. Ooh. Nothing dangerous at all. That sounds more like it. What do we need then? Well, we need lots of colours mm -hmm. and things that give off pleasant noises. <laughs> It's Auntie Flo. Ah, Hello, Toby. Hello, Auntie Flo. You're just in time. Why am I? What for? To help us mix a spell to make some magic fireworks. That sounds a bit dangerous. No, oh, no, 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 no. Magic indoor fireworks that don't give off flames or flashes or bangs or anything like that. So safe you could let them off in here. Were you sure? Quite, quite sure, Auntie Flo. Right then, what do we need? Well, we need lots of colours, as many as we can find. <sighs> right, um, uh, red! Red! A red rubber glove! <laughs> green! Green. A green golf ball. Well <laughs> done, Auntie Flo. <laughs> Uh, blue. Something blue. Toby, you're wearing a blue bird. <laughs> well done. Uh, now then, uh, yellow. Yellow. Oh, yellow. A yellow yogurt pot. Is it full? Um, yes. Good. I could do with a snack. <laughs> now then, uh, orange. Oh, look in front of you. Hmm? The oh. orange octopus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, no. something else. Um, oh, what about purple? Hmm? Purple. Hmm. A purple plum. Well spotted. I plum. like this spell. A hmm? plum and yogurt. Mmm, delicious. Well, I think that's <laughs> enough colours for now. What we need is a pleasant sound. Oh, um, I know. What about these? Lovely! Oh. Yes, that's a Here lovely sound. We are. Right, now we also need something beginning with F for F fireworks. F. 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 Oh, look what I see! A feather! A feather! Ooh. Perfect, Toby. Right. A feather. Jolly good. And now, the magic tune. And for once, I've remembered how it goes. Boom, 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 boom. Right, all together now. Boom, 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 boom. And now, the magic clap. And finally, the magic rhyme. Puddle, muddle, muddle, puddle. Colored light and gentle sound. Muddle, puddle, puddle, muddle. Magic fireworks. All around. Oh, oh. Isn't that great? Are you sure they're safe? Oh, I'm quite sure they're safe. Very pretty, aren't they? It's wonderful. See, I'm sure they're quite clever, aren't they? Thank you.